Who has the potential to change the world? Me. You. All of us students. But for that, we need a good education. Because in the end, the base of it all, especially for us, future generations, is nothing more than to have the best learning experience and know how to apply it in order to solve all the challenges to come. Hi, I'm Maria Carrasco, an, a student from Fontenebra International School, and this is my tech talk in education for the future. Recent events have taught us that nothing is secure and that we are far from predicting what's really gonna happen. The COVID-19 pandemic, for instance, has made us see that we can be left without any sort of schooling in the blink of an eye. Also, just because you live in a war-torn country, sometimes you're forced out of your courses because the focus is set on surviving. War-torn war are already forcing many people out of it. This is why we need a change. But our main concern, and therefore, the one that leaves us without any assurance of security is climate change. Extreme weather events and natural disasters are already forcing many people out of our education and losing opportunities to improve. Education is key in helping us cope with all of the above because learning and knowledge are the best assets. Um, to progress as one into a stable and environmentally safe world, some educational key points should be acknowledged. Firstly, we need to respect Article 26 of the Declaration of Human Rights, which dictates that every child deserves a high quality and public education. This will help develop team working, critical thinking, resourceful and team working skills, as well as a creative and curious mindset. Which leads me to my second point. We need to reinforce the public system of education. We cannot make it dependent on private investment, or worse, look at it from an individual perspective. Now, I bet this is not the first time you hear about this topic and how bad it needs to change. However, it might be the first time someone actually proposes a solution, or at least a guideline, to help accomplish our main goal which is still for us and future generations to have all the knowledge available to change this world. One of the factors that can be used to put an end to the situation is a change in the learning approach. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, it means not tying the overall learning experience to specific subjects or individual work. We need to focus on developing those skills I was talking about earlier. Teachers need to make us see what's surrounding us and help us come out with ideas on how to solve those problems. However, how can we ensure the previous is available to everyone? Easy. Long distance learning. It has proven itself to be cheaper. This can be in haste in places where there's either no room for an educational center or there's just no money to hire teachers. Technology not only gives us the opportunity to have less teachers, less classes, and require a much smaller space, but also attend a higher number of students. Technology is the future of education. It will help teachers and students bring further engagement into the classes. Now, let me wrap up. If there's one thing we've learned, is how unpredictable our future is and how fast we can be left without any sort of schooling. For this very reason, we need to act fast, ensure a public education is available in every nook of this earth, at least at the lowest possible cost or in the best case scenario for free. By reaching out these goals and using technology as our primary source, as well as changing the learning approach, we will be able to complete our main goal, which is still for us and future generations to have all the resources available to not only save, but also improve our beloved Earth. Because learning from afar can bridge knowledge closer. Thank you. <laughs>